The next thing we'll review on the MRI scans is a horizontal cleavage tear of the medial meniscus. So there's different types of tears, and a horizontal cleavage tear is within the fibers of the meniscus, so it actually splits it in the top and bottom pieces. So we'll run through the appearance on the MRI scan on the different cuts and how we'd be able to diagnose it on the MRI scans. The first thing we'll look at is the sagittal view. And we'll start first by going from the lateral side. So here's the biceps femoris coming down. Here's the fibula collateral ligament. And then as we start to go more towards the midline, we'll start to see the lateral meniscus come into play. So this is the lateral meniscus here. We can see the dark appearance to it, so there's no evidence of any increased signal, which would be consistent with a tear. And it's pretty much dark throughout, so there's no evidence of any fluid leaking into a tear. As we start to course more towards the midline here, we'll start to see the anterior cruciate ligament, so this is the anterior medial bundle of the ACL. And here's the PCL right here, a fairly normal appearance. As we start to course more towards the medial side of the knee, we'll start to see that there's some evidence of signal changes within the meniscus. And here we see that there is a complete white pass of fluid from the top and the bottom of the meniscus, which indicates that there's a horizontal cleavage tear. The next view that I'll go through is a coronal scan. So this is a coronal view of a left knee, and we'll start to course from anterior to posterior, and the medial meniscus will be to the left of the screen. So this is the patella showing up right here. And you can start to see some of the white fluid that's within the joint. And this is showing the medial meniscus on the side here. So as we start to course more posteriorly, we can see the meniscus looks like it's in relatively good position. But now we're starting to see a little bit of some increased signal within the body of the meniscus here, which would be indicative of a tear. Here is your medial collateral ligament. This is the deep MCL tibial portion. Here's the femoral portion, the meniscal femoral portion of the deep MCL. We also see some of the ACL fibers here. And we can see further tearing within the substance of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. And then if we look at the root attachment all the way over to the far posterior medial aspect of the meniscus, we can see some increased signal intensity. So the sagittal cuts just cut through some of these, but you can see it's a rather diffuse tear consistent with a rather large horizontal cleavage tear of the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. The final image we looked through when we were assessing on a horizontal cleavage tear is looking at the axial cuts. The axial cuts aren't usually as useful when we're looking at a horizontal cleavage tear because it depends upon the thickness of the MRI slices, so sometimes we don't see that too well. But we can start to see the patellofemoral joint. Here's the articular cartilage of the patella. This is the VMO muscle on the side here. And as we start to get closer down the joint line, we'll see a little bit of signal intensity change within the meniscus, but it's really difficult to see that. So here's the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. We could see some substance change within it there but it's not as clear and defined as we can see on the sagittal views and also on the coronal views when we're looking at an axial cut and trying to assess the amount of tearing that may be present with a horizontal cleavage tear.